Hi there, today I've got a video for you. Now the reason I wanted to film this work going through is just the superb quality of this reproduction motorcycle frame that's been made. It's been made by a company called Mojo Motorcycles and it's some of the best work I've ever seen. They've made this BSA Gold Star reproduction frame. It's all been done by hand and it's an absolutely fantastic quality job. Just look at how good the brazing is and how well all the tubes have been formed. It's an absolute work of art. So this is in for a nickel plate finish so we're going to follow it through and see the finished article. Our first job is we list all the parts out so that we know what we've got to deal with. We then photograph them and this photograph gets printed out and it will travel around the workshop with the parts so that we can always keep them together. What we're going to do first is we're going to go all over it and we're going to make that surface better so that it's all nice and even and you don't get that slightly stippled effect that you do with a drawn tube. Nothing better than seeing some of the sparks in slow motion. You can't remove marks without making a few sparks. The abrasives that we're using on this, because it's all curved surfaces and quite intricate, we're using a soft, what we call a stitch mop. It's a cotton mop that's stitched together and then it's been dressed up with a greaseless polishing compound and that will be quite fine because we don't want to actually remove much metal on this particular job as it's brand new so it's in very good condition. Here we are dressing it up with that greaseless polishing compound I was talking about. That will get put to dry and we'll use a different tool. Here we're using a felt tool that's been dressed up with the same compound. It's smaller so it's easier to get inside tight areas. When you're polishing a motorcycle frame like this, one of the hardest things is just holding on to it. You're constantly wrestling it round into different angles and it's actually very tiring doing it. Time to change tools again.
speed this up a bit to get to the next operation. Now we've finished with the abrasives and we're going to use a sizal brush uh, along with some polishing compound we'll use this to actually shine up the steel and what we're doing is we're removing the fine abrasive marks that we put in previously with the greaseless polishing compound. As with the previous operation, it's still a case of wrestling with this motorbike frame so that you can polish the areas you want to get to. Here's the polishing compound being applied. Little and often is how you apply it. All of the polishing stages take a long time and they're very laborious, taking up lots and lots of skilled labour. Let's speed this brushing up so we can get to the end. The last bit of brushing and that's now ready to go into the plating shop. Now we're into the plating shop. We've got to wire this up on copper wires so that we can pass an electric current through it because it's the electricity that makes it plate. Now it's all wired up, it's off into the first cleaner tank. Now this is just a hot soapy cleaner. What we're going to do in here is give it a bit of a soak, then we'll pull it out and give it a good wipe over. We've got to make sure that we get rid of any dirt, oil and grease as this will stop it plating properly. sure that it's all wiped over because anything that's left on it will cause a plating defect it either won't plate or there'll be a mark now this is the electric cleaner tank and what we're going to do with this is we're going to throw the switch and we're going to pass an electric current through it. Now the reason that we do this is whenever anything's polished it will want to oxidise straight away 
and that will stop the plating from sticking. So we activate it in that tank. What's happening now is it's going through a series of swill tanks and we're swilling off all of the cleaning solution so that it's ready to go into the nickel plating tank. This last but one tank is a dilute sulfuric acid. It's about as strong as vinegar and that's just to make sure that every bit of soap is rinsed off it before it goes in the tank. Now it's in the nickel plating tank, it will be left in there for a good hour and a half or more to put a nice deposit on. We've just got to adjust the power for the size of the item that's in the tank. So much later, here we are. Now notice the shine that's on it now because the weather protection is from the nickel layer. Even when you're chroming, this one isn't going to be chromed. It's going to be left in nickel because that's what the customer wants. But it's the nickel layer that gives it all the good looks and the weather protection. So after giving it a swill, we're just going to hang it up to let the water dry off it. Now that this BSA frame is finished, you can see that it's not just a nice quality motorcycle frame, it's absolutely a piece of automotive art. It is fantastic. Here's the rest of the parts to go with the frame. All we've got to do with this frame now is give it a spray of oil to stop the nickel from tarnishing. If you like our videos, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you get to know when we've released a new video.